Hey guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption, and we're just going to get started. Yeah, we're going to go to Louisa, and we're going to see what's going on with her. Maybe we're going to do a mission with her. I'm not sure. But let's see. What is it? I must... John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal de Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry. I don't know how much oh, that's all I needed to hear. Dude, John Arsh is so excited. Look how fast he's going. He's just going so fast. We're here. Oh, I hear the gunfire already. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. Perfect. In the name of the government provincial, the Coronel Allende, and the state of this country, Te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick. Move in, boys. Come on, motherfuckers. Tell me where a squala is. Come on, DeSanta. I don't give a shit. Shoot me all you want. I'm catching this little dirt bag. You thought you could kill me last time? You thought you could? Look at me. I'm an alpha dog. I'm an alpha dog. Oh, shit. He, he's getting away. Actually, he's getting away. No, 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 no. Gotcha, you little fucker. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, with the baby gonna cry. With the baby gonna cry. Oh, with the baby. No, I'm not gonna cut you free. Sorry, buddy. You're coming with me. We got him, boys. We got him. Oh. Now he's gonna be crying. Of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please, I'll do anything. Right in the foot. Oh. How about this foot? You think it's funny to rape people? You fucking coward. Next arm. Captain. Little fucker. I felt justice. You know, you, sometimes I'm like, I see bad guys in video games, I'm like, oh, I feel bad for them. The way they turned out. That guy was just a complete piece of shit. Now I'm going the right way. We're here. We're here. No, you f You just shot that innocent woman! You think it's funny that- Nah, 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 nah. Last one's me. Last one's on me. Come here, motherfucker. You're gonna get cut up real good, son of a bitch. Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> you 
You really had to cough that one up, you sack of shit. Wait, that sounded like I was calling her a whore. Hey, dude, come on! No, no, no! Have you lost your damn mind? Come on, man! Enough of this bullshit! Thank you, senor. I should know by now, I never to tell a man he has an abriga pequeña. Don't... Take care, lady. Yeah, calling a man, saying a man has a small penis is like ripping off a medal of honor, dude. You do not do that. Excuse me, mister. Let, let him be in his delusions and let him think he has a big penis, alright? Because once you do that, you're like, you have a lower loyal man. A man that will be at your feet and give you whatever you want whenever you want it. And then leave him. Leave the man. Because you want to know why? He's not worth it. He's not at your level. Have sex with him, take his money, and dip. He's not worth it. Because you're the fucking best at- Now, don't take my advice. <laughs> treat everybody the same. Treat people the same as you would treat yourself. <laughs> don't listen to me. But do. No, listen to me. L treat- Go- Go grab a man. And- And have s Never mind. Never mind. Oh, let's go talk. Let's go talk to Abraham. Hey, buddy. Oh my god! Oh my god! God damn, dude. Really? Right now? Now's you think now's the time? excuse me. Jesus Christ, man. Clean yourself up. Jesus, we had to blur that out. Follower Luisa say about that. Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada? Of course this guy doesn't remember. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She thinks <laughs> she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So nice. Watch your fucking tongue really there, buddy. Charming. Luis is a good peasants. person. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Marry a Pesce! My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that was very inappropriate. The even the the scene the what I saw was inappropriate, what I heard was inappropriate, and absolutely pathetic what I heard, honestly. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Okay. Um, five crates of TNT. Five crates of TNT. That's a lot of TNT. And they're already firing on me. Holy shit, I can't keep control of this horse, man. Get the fuck off of it! Oh, we did it. Ah, we did it. Get fucked. Damn right, let's get these sons of bitches. We will keep the army occupied, jump. You gotcha. That one almost got me. Dude, I just hit that guy to death. 
Um, let's go find Javier. Ah, die. Is he in here? Search the tower. I don't think he's in here. He, um, oh shit. Wait, why do I why am I having this gun? I want my bolt action rifle. Oh, I think I know where he is. This is like the biggest building. Let me in, baby. I wanna get in. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so, now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. And Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Oh, you fucker. You really had me there. You really did have me. You fucking had me. You sack of shit. I thought I was in love. I, 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 fuck! Where'd he go? And we're gonna have to take this horse. Let's go! Oh, come on. Come on, Cage. Now it's time to blow doors down. I'm not gonna kill the... I mean, I could kill the horse to get to him quicker, but... You know we don't roll like that, man. Do we have horse pills? We don't have horse pills? Fuck. I don't want to do it, please. Please don't make me do this, Javier. Just help. Oh, you fucking made me do it. I fucking hate you for this. It's over, old friend. I got you now. I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with agenda. Oh my god. We have Javier squarely. Dude, of course, stop fucking galloping away from me. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Come on. Amigo, Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. Come on. Come on. Well, we got Javier. It's kind of sad because I played Red Dead Redemption 2 like more than once. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. And Javier was one of my favorites. Yeah. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Okay, <laughs> we're here. Oh, shit. 
Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You sought me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto. Oh. One day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh. I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army is coming. Yeah, buddy, you really went down the... Uh, well, I'm gonna miss you, Javier, but you kind of fucked up, man. Now let's take care of these sacks of shit. Oh, this is fun. It's actually fun. I like this. I like you a lot. But uh, there, I can't see any more. Die! Oh, that guy went flying! Holy crap! Where'd it go? Yeah, all the peasant girls go to you, I guess, you fucking weirdo. I mean, at least you keep your promises. That's the only thing you're good for. Ah! No, 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 I can't be stuck! I'm good. No, I was just joking. I wasn't stuck. I just, I got you guys. You guys just got fooled. reunited it is a beautiful thing <laughs> mr. Marston fancy seeing you down here I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you you've done well mr. Marston now Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach <laughs> come on you get in the damn automobile can we assume one of my commitments is cleared unfortunately Nothing is clear, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, sons of Mexico. We haven't even scratched the surface. Oh, I see what's going on. You guys are getting what you deserve. Now, I'm gonna get my fill of justice. <laughs> Quítate, estúpido. Le voy a dar un balazo. Quítate. Quítate, pendejo. Quítate. Una, dos, tres. Todo por la revolución. Vamos, compadre. No, para atrás, para atrás. Usted para atrás. Para atrás, para atrás. Para atrás, para atrás. Uh oh. Hey, Abraham. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? 
I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would. I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, Americano. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! No! Santa Maria. Motherfucker, I'm gonna riddle you with bullets. You want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> you fucking little bitch. And I'm gonna riddle you like a little bitch. Wait, that didn't, I was gonna riddle you with a bullet. Uh, one, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Gotcha. Come here, buddy. Now the people are finally ready. You better fucking remember her name this time, man. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Come on. We're gonna fucking get our revenge for what he, they did to Luisa. Those sons of bitches. Oh, well, wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. We're we'll get our revenge. Little fuckers, you burning people's houses down, innocent people. Where we're we getting shot? You gotta get. Sh we're getting shot at. Senor, let us free. We will help you. Let's go, my friends. Ray, she's getting ready to attack Melinda's man. Captain. What have we got here? Come on, fellas. We got a job to do. Chupa me huevos, putos. Oh, this feels good. Revenge feels good. I, I I shouldn't feel this way, but it feels so good. Oh my god. I'm sending you all to hell. Anyone still moving? Or am I done here? I doubt you'll be needing this. I need ammo. That's what I need. I'm coming, 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 I'm coming. What do they want me to do? We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Perfect. Now? I'm guessing now. Come on, little fuckers. Look at them run. They're running like chickens. Come 
Dude, this is fucking awesome. Watch out, guys. You kind of running, you running in the middle of my bullets. Look at him run! Oh, come on, buddy. You guys already know what's gonna happen. Come here, you fucker. God, this is filled with violence. But if if anybody was watching the YouTube videos earlier of like what these guys were doing, you would understand where I'm coming from. These guys are like absolute monsters. Oh wait, we gotta go. I know, I know, I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. This should give him the message. Yeah, John Marston's even like, fuck these guys. Oh my god. This is actually very hard to control. I'm not gonna lie. Where's the other one? Oh, they ran. Alright, we don't need to jump over that. Let's just get up there. I'm on it. Oh, I'm on it. Vámonos, date prisa, cabrón. To the horses, compadre. We cannot let them get away. It didn't have to be this way, Bill. Come on. You know how this is going to end. Come on, we're going to get there. I wish I had horse pills and we can go even faster. Yeah, we did give Bill a chance, but he kind of just blew it. It was like, nah. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. What do I do? We kill him? You always was. Leave mine. Oh, all right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. No! We're supposed to... Is dead. Mexico is mine. Okay. That's all he wanted was Mexico? I mean, that's, I kind of guess that's what he wanted. He just wanted to be a ruler. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? God fucking damn it. Peasant girl wife to be? Oh yes, of course. She she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. 
Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Mona. Okay. No more fancy words. Let's go. Honestly, well, how, mu how much time did we... Agent Ross. Why not? Let's, let's go to Agent Ross. Let's go talk to the government. Let's see what they're up to. We gotta get this poncho off. We're not in Mexico anymore. God damn it. 101... 102, 103, 105, 106. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115, 116, 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some... Important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thank you, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. I like the revolver better. But I'll hey, use it just for this case. For that, sir. This is an outrage. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344. 345. <laughs> 
Mr. West Dickens. Strange and funny man. Oh, wait, we get to drive in a car? Right, Drivey oh, car. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Gordon will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Well, oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Oh man. Come the sir. Come on then, Marston. You're with me. I wish we just left it at Mexico. God damn it. Um I, I do I have to accompany you? Do I have to hold your hand? I don't want to hold you your hand, bro. Me. I just want to go shoot some shooty bang bang. Suit dirty. If you step out of line even once. Well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I hope you are aware of the consequences if you decide to do those consequences. Perfect. Now, if I can just jump through this window, it'll make it so much easier. No, we can't jump through the window. Um, where's the stairs? Do we pass? No, we didn't pass them. We're going the right way. We're coming, buddy. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant. Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Bastard! We need to clear... Dude, this gun's actually good. I like it. Holy crap. I mean, it runs out of ammo really quickly, but whatever. Come on. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go my own way. I know where I'm going. God, this is so... I'm going so slow. This is so... Come on. All right. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. But I wanted the back seat. God damn it. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. English. Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth. Ah. Uh. 
I, I, well, we get more of the automobile. That's pretty cool. I love automobiles. I wonder if we can drive the, drive it. Can we drive the automobile? I want to drive the. No, we can't. I know we can't. But whatever. It, it's a it's a good thought though. It's a thought that counts. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Jesus Christ! Holy shit, there's so many of them. Oh my god. Gotcha. All right, we're good. We're good. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made... We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the <sighs> office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day, G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <clears throat> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. <sighs> what a weird, that, weird world. Okay, let's go and save. We got a new jacket, guys. Look at that. And we got a new pistol. But I prefer my revolver than, you know. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.